When you have a tumor growing in a kidney, for example, there's a lot of immune cells that also infiltrate it, and sometimes the types of immune cells do matter. Um, there are several studies that identify tumor-associated macrophages uh, as being important. They come in two different types. One of them is a pro-inflammatory, which fight against cancer. And then there's another type, which is uh, yeah, M2 phenotype of macrophages, which are anti-inflammatory. So for cancers to grow, they need to do uh, use the angiogenesis mechanisms and uh, remodeling mechanisms of these macrophages. So these become important. Uh, monocytes are actually progenitor cells to macrophages. Uh, there are three different types of monocytes. One of them is classical monocyte, intermediate, and non-classical. It is thought that the classical monocytes are more pro-inflammatory mo mo monocytes, which then enter the tissues and act against cancer. Uh, the other two are more remodeling type. It's not yet clear the exact roles of all these types of monocytes, uh, but what is true is all of these monocytes do play a role. The question is right now there's a you know lot of information out there on PD-1 which are checkpoint inhibitors that allow the immune system to damp dampen down the responses against cancer. So if you inhibit this you increase uh, the uh, activity of these the immune natural immune cells against cancer. Um, we sought to identify where PD-1 expression in what type of populations affect survival. We thought that the monocytes seem to play a central, a central role in the immune system. These are the antigen presenting cells, and perhaps the PD-1 expression on the monocytes may be important for survival.